Vivum Synth is the 14th installment in our Vivum series. It offers 99% of the functionality of all the other Vivum instruments, but at its core it is fundamentally different. What makes it unique is the fact that Vivum Synth does not use samples of audio recordings. Instead, Vivum Synth uses 80 single cycles waveforms which allow the user to build synth sounds from scratch. This way, Vivum becomes an impressive 80 oscillators synth with an incredible power. Coupled with all the playing modes, effects and step effects that are common in all Vivum instruments, Vivum Synth becomes an extremely versatile sound design tool for the modern media composer and producer. The honeycomb style interface shows 80 hexagons with distinctive icons which reflect the type of waveforms. Hexagons with the same icon are variations of the same waveform. We can choose the oscillators by clicking on each hexagon. We can access the synth controls page by clicking on this button here. This page can be quite overwhelming at first, but all controls are color-coded for easier identification. On either sides of the GUI, there are two lists of sounds which are populated when a sound is chosen in the main page. We can have a maximum of 20 oscillators, or waveforms, at the same time. By clicking on each waveform name in the list, the controls for that waveform are revealed. By following the knobs and buttons colors, starting from the red knobs in the upper region, we see the volume controls, with its main volume knob and all the modulators, volume LFO intensity or amount, LFO frequency or speed, and LFO fade time. Following the little red lines, we also see that we can modulate the LFO frequency, with three controls of modulation intensity, rate and fade time. The LFO shape can be chosen using this menu here. When the LFO to all button is activated, each volume LFO knob will have effect on all the waveforms at once. The volume AHDSR, as in all Vivums, is found at the bottom of the interface, with its AHDSR to all button, which will affect all waveforms at once. If we move to the golden controls on the right side of the interface, we find the filters controls, namely the cutoff parameters. We find similar controls as we have seen for the volume, so all the LFO controls plus an invert LFO button as well. And also the filter envelope controls of attack, hold and decay controls plus the invert envelope button and the envelope to all button, which by now you can guess what it'll do. The filter type can be chosen with this menu over here. Vivum Synth offers many filter types, so experimentation is required. Also, the filter controls can be set for all waveforms at once with this button over here. The filter resonance controls are in blue. Vivum Synth offers the same LFO and envelope controls as we have seen for the filter cutoff. Moving to the pan controls in red, we have LFO controls with the possibility to modulate the pan LFO frequency and the choice of several LFO shapes. Going up. We find the pitch controls in gold color. The main pitch knob is coupled with a fine tune knob for precise adjustment in sense. All the LFO and envelope controls are also included for the pitch, plus the option to assign the pitch to the velocity for very creative effects. Finally, the drive knob is in gray color. The amount is set with the drive knob and it can also be controlled by velocity when the drive to velocity button is activated. On top of the GUI, we find the LFO bass sync. This is not the speed of the LFO, but it is the slowest rate when each LFO frequency knob is set to zero. Then each knob increment will multiply that speed value from 1 to 12 times. When we press the set to all button, all the knobs adjustment made for one waveform will be applied to all sounds at once. The reset all button instead brings all the controls back to their default position. To create sounds from scratch, we would suggest firstly choosing the desired waveforms in the main page. Remember that each hexagon with the same icon is a variation of the same waveform. Its name is also written here when the hexagon is highlighted by clicking on it twice, so it's easy to choose the correct waveform type and variation. Then resetting all controls using the reset all button in the synth controls page and soloing each waveform by selecting its name in the list and pressing the solo button. Now we can make individual adjustments for each control to achieve the sound we have in mind.
One last synth control is the poly mono mode, which allows Vivum synth to be monophonic for synth leads. Or polyphonic for pads and keys, etc. The master random control in Vivum synth has the option to create simpler randomized patches or more complex ones. Lastly, Vivum Synth has an on-off switch for the master compressor to reduce the dynamics in patches which could be too wild, and a boost switch which adds a frequency curve to make the overall sound fatter and brighter. easy as possible using the randomization engine. as deep as you need it to be if you are an expert synth sound designer. In any way, Vivum Synth will be the perfect companion for all your synth needs. 